Hey, this is Keith over at Printech, and I wanted to go over our building a product in our new WooCommerce integration using the Printech dashboard. As per normal, you're going to sign into your Printech dashboard using your username and password. From your dashboard, head over to your products. Once inside, just hit create new products to begin from scratch. We have a wide selection of products to choose from, but for today's little operation, I'm only going to choose the adult unisex t-shirt. You can select any colors that you want for our available products on this products details screen. For now, I'm going to hit select all to choose all colors, select none to wipe out the palette, or manually select what I want. Here I'm only going to choose white and gray. Continue to sizes and pricing to check the next menu out, which allows you to adjust the pricing for either each individual size, or add your profit margins across the board to every product. After you've entered a profit percentage, you can click in the retail price to adjust it in real time. If you don't want to offer any sizes or want to add additional sizes, you can turn them off on the bottom right check mark. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue to product details to move us forward and I can add my product title here or adjust the description of the product that I'm building. If I want, I can come in and add additional information or remove some of the details that are already there. For now, I'm going to leave it as is as it's, it, it serves its purpose. I'm going to actually come in here and adjust the title a little bit, take out the adult, and add the name of the design I'm going to use, just for my own sake and sanity. Uh, this time I'm actually going to use a Christmas design. It's never too early to get ready for that. Uh, Santa, it's a long story, is the name of the design I'm going to use. I'm actually going to leave unisex t-shirt in my product title list because as you know, you go ahead and you're building out additional products and expanding your store, you may find that you use the same design across multiple items. And take it from me, when you have 20 versions of Santa, it's a long story. It can get pretty crazy. So having the unisex t-shirt in the title line will help me understand that this is the t-shirt version and not the coffee mug. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and continue to mock-ups. Step three is where all the magic happens. This is where you can come in and change the background image that we're going to use for the, the shirt itself using the upload background image. You can change to front or back. If you want to actually have a back design, you can do that here. Uh, but for now, I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm going to leave the basic default Printech mock-up in place because I like it. I'm going to hit upload artwork image and choose the design I want to use for my t-shirt. Once I've uploaded the image, I can go ahead and get it sized up or shrunk down using the corner click and drag. I can line it up how I want it. And then once I'm happy with it, all I have to do is hit save and finish. And before we move on, I am going to recommend that you always try to use a 2800 by 3200 uh, resolution image at 300 DPI if possible. And again, that's a PNG file. And this is just consistently giving us the best image quality on almost any product. Can't go wrong with it. Once you hit save and finish, the system's actually going to go ahead and create the product in the Printech dashboard. It's going to generate the same product using every size and color combination that you chose before. Once it's complete, you'll be redirected to this screen here where you'll have the option to push it to any of the stores you're integrated with. For our purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and push it to the Woo store. The other menu options you'll see here are the pricing, and if you want at the bottom, you can actually make some last minute adjustments to the products if you see fit. Say you got something out of line or you wanted to uh, remove a color, you can do that before it pushes over. Now, right now, it's actually generating your product that you created over on your WooCommerce store. Once the process is done, you're actually going to see a green text up here that says product successfully created in WooCommerce or an error. As long as you didn't get any errors, you can go ahead and hop over to your dashboard on your WooCommerce site. From here, if you head over to products, all products, you'll see your product is right there at the top waiting for you. Just like that, we made a product. It was quick and easy, and we didn't even break a sweat. If you head over to edit, you can adjust some of the settings here on the WooCommerce side, but as you see, the name imported, the description I used is there, as well as the, the product image itself. Just like that, we're done. I'm going to have several videos for WooCommerce coming in the pipeline soon, but for now, happy sales.